Meera lives in a place called Maika, which is far away from the hustle and bustle of cities. It is a quiet, peaceful place where days are full of sunlight and nights are filled with darkness. Night is ushered in at dusk. Lamps are lit and crickets begin chirping. Sometimes night is dark and deep, singing a lullaby for the tired. Sometimes it is a wash with moonlight. As darkness descends, everything becomes quiet and peaceful. The body gets tired after the day's work is done. It is the time to take rest and sleep. After the sun sets, nature looks different in the stillness of the night with all its magic and mystery. Behold, the magic of great magnitude unfolds before your eyes. You can see a dark sky studded with twinkling stars and the shy moon. Moonlight plays on the ground, creating fascinating shadows. You can hear mysterious sounds of nocturnal creatures. The hooting of the owl and the croaking of frogs add to the sound effect. The fragrance of flowers fills the air. People glide into dreams and wake up when the first rays of the sun dispel darkness at dawn. It is a new beginning. Natasha lives in a congested part of a big city, a city that never sleeps. In fact, it comes more alive after sunset when the city gets transformed into a luminous place. Floodlights eliminate darkness after six o'clock in the evening. The flavors of city night never ebb. The sky looks dark, but dazzling city lights push the stars into oblivion. The twinkling little stars become almost invisible. Instead of shooting stars, airplanes hoot through the night sky. The noxious fumes of speeding vehicles and the honk of traffic fill the air with noise pollution, whatever the hour of the day. The immensity of the nocturnal sky is lost to that child. The moon pales into insignificance as seen through the haze of polluted air. In fact, a child who has lived all its life in an apartment block, from where all it sees is just a patch of the grey sky, is unaware of the magic of a moonlit night. Light is just a switch away on the wall. Night is just an extension of the day with nothing to differentiate the two. Artificial illumination invades natural darkness. It is said that even an ordinary 60-watt bulb reduces dark sky visibility by 3 or 4 degrees. This generation has been deprived of the dark, starlit sky. This generation is subject to light pollution. The seriousness of the problem becomes evident from the satellite light maps of the Earth at night. These maps show parts of India as bright as the USA or Western Europe. And along the coast, ports and resorts appear as pinpricks of light from space. The loss of the night sky is tragic and the consequences have pervaded every aspect of our lives, be it health, security, economy, energy, conservation, ecology or astronomy. It is a pity because light pollution is the most reversible form of pollution. Switch off the unnecessary lights and pollution is reduced. Children like Natasha have hardly seen a night which is completely dark. For them, constellation of stars exist only in books. A polluted city offers no joy of star watching. Avid star gazers crane their neck in vain. If they want to enjoy the wonderful sight of a star-studded night sky, they have to travel further away from habitation. A star-spangled sky has many secrets still to be revealed. The vast expanse of the sky where the arc of the Milky Way is visible reminds us of our place in this universe. It is important to retain the ability to look at nature with wonder in our eyes. It is time to reclaim the magic of night for the sake of children like Natasha.